figure out how to model that rib and get that lower section in there too. No, it looks like he's catching up. He's got the same same idea as uh, as Crispy Co. Chris, Crispy Co. Coming numbers. in with an answer: zero point six five four. That is not correct. Zero point six five four. That is not correct. Crispy Co. Using his first answer quick. Got that geometry out there. Got that answer in there. Saw some of our users doing that. And okay. Well, here we go, guys. We're gonna get right into it here. We don't want to go too far into overtime, but I love the fact that we get to see four matches between these Titans. So here we go. Shake it off. I hope you guys are both ready because we're going to get into it. This next CAD battle between Alibre and Solid Works, Greece versus Australia, begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in 0.xxx pounds? I love that these two runners are getting all the inch parts. I think it's so awesome. This is a tier three part. So guys, this is gonna go fast. It's gonna be fast and furious. So we're gonna go back over here to the event. Let's see what our runners come up with. They both have taken a screen capture. They both have started with the exact same sketch. This just goes to show that regardless of what CAD system you're in, best practices are often the same. Crispy Co. Looking at this thing. I don't know if I'd say best practices because I would do this differently. <laughs> okay. Wow. Crispy Co. Creating kind of the layout for there from the front. And we see Ex Machina already creating solid geometry. Drawing first blood. Already getting in there. K Customs in the chat says bald eagle units again. <laughs> it is the wheel of fate. The wheel of fate is cruel sometimes. This is gonna. This is a tier well, three complexity part. Also, a good test of how well do you do the the stuff that you're doing every day. Simple yeah. tangencies, simple arcs, uh, you know, through holes, that kind of stuff. Yep. Fundamental features in mechanical engineering and 3D CAD. Yeah. Vicky Chong coming up with that bald eagle emoji pretty quick. Very impressive. Yeah. And we see X Machina. Uh, running into a little bit of a hiccup there. Didn't have the geometry that he needed to create that rib shape, but now he's back. He's got it. And we see Crispy Co. Kind of interesting here. It's, it's kind of an interesting shape. I really like Crispy Co.'s approach there with those layouts. Um, but I think that's, that's definitely going to help him in this challenge. Uh, having that layout geometry and kind of having the location of that, that rib, the height of that rib. Yeah, it's not how I would have modeled it, but... We'll see if it pays off. Yeah. Crispy Co. just getting in there, getting it done. Ex Machina struggling a little bit with that lower section. With this model, I figured that was going to be the struggle, trying to figure out how to model that rib and get that lower section in there, too. You know, it looks like he's catching up. He's got the same same idea as, uh, as Crispy Chris, Co. Crispy Co. Upper... coming in with an answer. 0. Ooh, 0.654. Cool. That is not correct. 0.654. That is not correct. Crispy Co. using his first answer quick. Got that geometry out there. Got that answer in there. But unfortunately, 0.654. Not correct. Break out the marker. Start crossing off dimensions. Yep. <laughs> Crispy Co. is going to need to now take a look at his model and see if he can't figure out what is off on that model. We see Ex Machina on the left, just about done with it's this model. Yeah. yeah, he's really finishing up here. Crispy Co. making a change to one of his dimensions. Question is, was that the was that in fact the problem and was it the only problem? He doesn't care. He's letting it rip. Crispy Co. coming in with his second answer. 0. 0.687. And that is correct. Wow. And Crispy Co. takes it down. Down through the wire. Takes down the victory. Ex Machina coming in right behind him. 0 0.6943. The correct answer was 0 0.687. Let's give it up. Let's put a GG in the chat for Crispy Co. What a battle between these Titans. That was so much fun to watch, guys. That was so awesome. And congratulations to our runners for putting on that epic show. That was, uh, that was awesome. I got to say thank you so much, not only to Crispy Co., GG to Crispy Co., but also, of course, to Ex Machina 
longtime friend of the show, regular on Model Monday Live. Guys, if you join us on Model Monday Live this this Monday, I'm sure that Ex Machina will be there. Wow, wow, wow. Andrew Miller says, good game, amazing. I'm still trying to follow along 